Welcome back to Hockey Night in Belmont. I'm your host Gomer. I'm gonna be looking at another. Gonna be looking at another hockey card unpacking as I got another set off eBay. I'm not sure which one of the two this is. We'll see what I got. These are. These are really well packed too. Left a little message. Thank you for your business. Please leave feedback so that I know the cards made it. Okay, thanks. No problem there. Wrapped in green tape. So these cards are really well protected. I like that. Some sellers don't protect their cards well enough. And they're in two different ones. Looks like you use the hard plastic cases on the outer ones to protect them. And the inner cards are just as as they are a lot of tape on this i used to collect these as a kid i used to have whole sets plus plus the poster the uncut sheets that we use as a wall poster and when they got a little too ratty i used to cut them myself and wish i'd not done that they used to have pinholes all over the edges i oh, to be a kid I used to used to play with these like throw them against the wall play corners trade them did lots of fun stuff with cards this was when hockey cards were fun or any kind of collectibles were fun okay so first off these are the 1977-78 OPG cards this is Montreal's third straight Stanley Cup win and let's see what we got so in the hard plastic we got Dave Burroughs defenseman Toronto Maple Leafs now this has got a huge crease in it so it's not that great of quality on the front the back is okay the edges are okay but that crease definitely makes things worse. Richard Mulhern from Atlanta. Don Seleski, Philadelphia. He won two Stanley Cups with the Flyers. Guy Lapointe, defenseman Montreal. Grant Mulvey, gotta love that hair. Chicago. Bob Sove, goalie, Buffalo. His best moment came when he in the 80s when he was 82. Might have been 83 when he... Sh Shut out the Montreal Canadiens twice in the playoffs. Randy Mallory, defenseman, Kings. Bill Fairborn, right winger from the Blues. Gary Monahan, left winger from Toronto. He was actually a number one draft pick from the Montreal Canadiens. Colin Campbell, who later became a commissioner, defenseman for Pittsburgh. Dwight Foster, Bruins center. I believe that's his rookie card, and it is. And he was a number one draft pick. And he was a complete bust. Michelle Bergeron, Capitals. Scott Garland went to the Kings. Jean Hamel, Red Wings. Kirk Walker went to the Kings. With this card, I'm never sure if he actually went to the... Played for the Leafs. And then Denny Dupree, Rockies. We got Brian Maxwell, defenseman for the North Stars. Dave Maloney, defenseman, Rangers. Derek Smith, center, Buffalo Sabres. John Van Boxmeer, defenseman for the Rockies. I can see a crease right here, soft edges. Not the best quality card. He used to, he used to play for the Montreal Canadiens. They traded him. He was a good defenseman, big guy too. Dave Schultz, Pittsburgh. He had won two Stanley Cups with the Flyers. Got traded to the Kings, and then the Kings traded him to Pittsburgh, known as the Hammer. Reggie Houle. Montreal. I would like to remember him better as the player than as the GM because he was a terrible GM for Montreal. Destroyed the team for years to come. Terrible draft classes. Greg Malone, center for Pittsburgh. Paul Holmgren, Flyers. Missed the playoff years. Don Marcotte. This one someone painted on, so this is definitely a wreck card. Won two Stanley Cups with the Bruins. Cliff Carroll, Blackhawks. Borla Salming, Leafs defenseman, probably the Peter Lee, right winger for Pittsburgh, played for Montreal, was drafted by Montreal, might have been part of the Pierre LaRouche trade. Jimmy Watson, defenseman, Flyers, won two cups with them. Bobby Schmatz, Bruins, was not there when they won the cup. Dougie Risebrow, center, Montreal. And then Ron Sanusi, Minnesota. 
So mostly common cards. A couple of former All-Stars or All-Stars like Salming. Bobby Schmox was a pretty good player. Don Marcotti was a good player. Paul Holmgren. Most of them are fair quality, but there's some that are poor. I paid $5.75 for the card and only $3.95 for shipping. So you're looking at just over nine bucks for a bunch of common cards. So nine bucks for 32 common cards. No big names except for Salming. Would be the biggest name and maybe Paul Holmgren as well as Dave Schultz. But I, like I said, I had all these cards as a kid and then my parents got rid of them. I also had an almost complete set 10 years ago, but I actually sold it. Needed some, some money for something and I had this most of this set and I had to sell it. But now I'm recollecting it, which is good. And I like to enjoy it. Anyway, let me know if anyone else has this set, if they have this collection. And leave your comments in the comments section. Hit like, subscribe, and until next time, this has been Hockey Night in Belmont.